Hold the phone! I'm talking about politics on Nintendo Prime. Oh no, dislike the video, run away, so unsubscribe. Ah! Okay, it's not actually that bad. What is happening is something very weird. House Republicans uh, put out a statement today on tax reform. And it's all fine. I think everyone would love a little bit of tax reform one way or another, whether or not you agree with the Republicans or the Democrats or what have you. But uh, they built their entire reasoning around a Legend of Zelda reference, which is quite cool. You know, Zelda intermixing with politics. I mean, whatever. Uh, that's not making Zelda political, but it can maybe bring in a broader spectrum of people, maybe gamers who don't pay attention to politics much. Here's what the statement says. The Legend of Zelda series is Nintendo's best-selling video game franchise. Okay, let's just stop for a second. No, it's not. <laughs> In fact, uh, the Legend of Zelda series, I don't even think... Uh, is, is, is it in their top 10? Maybe it's in their top 10. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually looked. Um, I'll just bring up the list right now. Because <laughs> obviously Mario is uh, number one. Uh, just, just crazy. You could argue Super Mario is separate, but you, know, you can combine them if you want. Whatever. Uh, you got Pokemon. Um, you know, they got the Wii series of games. Oh man, Indo oh, man, I, I don't even know what they're thinking. Anyways, let's just get right, right back into it. Um, it says, okay, so Legend of Zelda series Nintendo's best-selling video game franchise, enjoyed by more than two generations of gamers. I mean, I hope so. 30 years. Uh, the action-adventure game was released in 1986. It technically released in 1985 in Japan, but uh, it did release in 86 in the U.S., so I'll give them a pass on that one. Um, and it says, uh, <laughs> only one year after Nintendo's founding in 1985. Oh, my. Nintendo is over 100 years old. Oh, man. <laughs> These are the people running our country, folks. <laughs> like, if you're going to make a reference, right? If you're going to make a reference to Nintendo, to the Zelda series, at least do the most basic of Google searches. Here, here, let me Google that for you. Nintendo was founded... When? Oh, look at that. They were founded September 23rd, 1889. God. Oh, man. Anyways. Uh, I mean, they could have said that they started in the video game industry then, but you could argue they had arcade games first, so... Anyways. Um, oh, man. Anyway, and, and here's how they relate it to politics. And you know what else was released in 1986? Yeah, you do. The last major reform to the American tax code was signed into law in 1986. Here's the thing. When you when you say yeah, you do, and this is on like a public statement, I guarantee you that most Americans have no idea when the last major reform to the American tax code was signed. I guarantee, like I was born in 1986, and I didn't know that was the year the last major reform to the American tax code was signed. You could call it ignorance because I didn't look it up, uh, and, that, and that's fine, but. Uh, you, these are politicians, of course they should know this, uh, but at least if I'm going to reference something, like say I wanted to bring up the American tax code, I would look it up, I would, you know, Google that, uh, and you can't correlate the Zelda series to a tax law, like, and especially if you're going to do it this poorly, you butcher, uh, you know, the mention of Zelda by saying it's the best-selling video game franchise. Incorrect. Uh, you mentioned it was first released in 1986. I'll give you a pass on that one because of the, you know, the release differences between countries. Uh, <laughs> but but you're way off on Nintendo's founding in 1985. Oh, I... I just can't... It's so hard to even read this with a straight face. And as you can tell, I totally didn't. This... This is laughable. I, I don't know what's happening. Uh, and the page itself, which uh, was originally at GOP.gov, 
uh, <laughs> it is taken down now. Uh, they got pretty lambasted over this uh, <laughs> these mistakes. I mean, literally, the the URL was gop.gov slash legend dash Zelda dash American dash tax dash code dash common. What the Zelda series has in common with the American tax code? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God. Come on. This, oh, man. Now, look, I'm not going to sit here and say that uh, that the GOP is stupid, just like I wouldn't say the Democrats are stupid. Like, uh, you have to be pretty smart, I, I guess, to get to certain places in this world, including politics. But, man, I... <laughs> For all the, the, the quote-unquote fake news that goes on out there, and that, you know, whatever, I, the, I, I won't call things fake news. I'll say politically driven news. Uh, that's what I always view all the major news outlets, whether it's CNN, MSNBC, uh, CBS, Fox News, whatever. No matter which outlet it is, they're all politically driven to drive an agenda. So they might give you the news, but it's always it's never going to be just the news. It's always going to be painted in a political light to favor their own stances. And so that's why I have a hard time enjoying or watching uh, any major news network, uh, at least on cable TV, because it's just very hard for me to discern the facts from the opinions that they try to sway into the facts. Uh, it, it, to me, it's kind of poor journalism. I think there's a, a point for discussion. And I do it here at Nintendo Pride, right? Like, I, I discuss things, uh, but I always give you the news first. And it's very, there's a very clear mark between here's the news, and then right after that, there's my thoughts. And it's very separated, whereas they'll take the news and sprinkle it in throughout their thoughts. Uh, and that's where I have, have issues with major news outlets. Uh, it's fine to have a conversation, but don't make the news uh, your conversation, if that, if that makes sense. Uh, and obviously, this is totally different. I don't view myself as a news network. I don't view myself as a reporter anymore. I don't even view myself as a journalist. Uh, I'm just a, a Nintendo guy with a, an opinion on things. But man, this is just hilarious. I... Oh... I guess this is why Let Me Google That For You exists, right? <laughs> How do you botch a, a reference this bad that you can't even do basic research? And it's obvious why like they're using the Zelda series, right? It's because Breath of the Wild has been in the news. Uh, the Nintendo Switch has been in the news, and primarily it's because of Breath of the Wild and how amazing it's done and how it's well, you know, the fourth or third or second or wh how, depending on where you look, one of the best rated games of all time. Uh, it's it's capturing the minds. It's probably going to win Game of the Year. Zelda's, you know, a hot topic right now. And there's so many ways they could have referenced this and got it better. In fact, here, let me do this for you. If the, if the reference you're making here is, is just saying that... Uh, there's correlation between the launch of the Zelda series and the last tax reform. Like, you're just bringing up an interesting fact, right? Instead of saying what's in common, just an interesting fact that the Legend of Zelda series launched in the same year that uh, it was made. Let me start off with this. Nintendo, which was founded in 1889, the same year that Benjamin Harrison took over the presidency from Grover Cle Cleveland on March 4th, Released Breath of the Wild this year, a critically acclaimed success story and arguably one of the best video games ever created. This is notable because the Zelda series launched in the United States in 1986 by that same company, Nintendo. And another interesting fact, politically, is, the, is that the tax reform, the last major tax reform, was also signed in 1986 do any of these facts have anything to do with each other no but i'm saying this just because i want people to pay attention to me all right have a good day <laughs> oh, that's gonna do it folks i am nathaniel robojets from nintendo prime if you like this video you know what to do and if you dislike the video hit that dislike button subscribe for more and i'll just catch you in the next one